Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about if the 9P camera system requires a PoE injector. Well, first of all, we have to know what is PoE. PoE is the te technology which transmits those power and data through one single Ethernet cable like this. And this will make our setup more easy because we don't have to look for an extra outlet to connect to our alternating current. So it is really easy to set up after we use PoE technology. In PoE technology, we have to make sure that we can find the power source for the Ethernet cable, which we usually call power sourcing equipment. Usually there is PoE switch, a PoE NVR, or a PoE injector, like the three of these in front of here. And an IP camera system is a system, usually surveillance systems, which have IP cameras installed, and the IP cameras are, are digital cameras which they capture the image and trans process it, transmit it digitally, that's that way we can have more detailed images because they have more concentrated figures transmitted, it's more detailed. In this case, an IP camera system will receive the power and data through power supply equipment, power sourcing equipment like the injector here, and all we have to do is connect this with our main network and then it will receive the power and data and output it to our IP camera devices. So a PoE switch is a regular switch with PoE enabled so it can provide power and data. A PoE NVR is a PoE switch integrated into an NVR recording device which also provides power and data and also recording features. The one special case is the PoE injector. We use the PoE injector under two circumstances. The first one is our whole network is PoE unable because we use a re regular household Ethernet switch which is like our router and that does not have PoE functions in it so it can't provide power, it only provides data. And the other circumstance is when we have a PoE switch or PoE MVR which our system is PoE enabled already but the power supply is not enough. The power budget is way too low for the IP camera to power up at the end. So in that case, in these two cases, all we have to do is add the PoE injector to our main data, data, data source and then the data will go to the PoE injector and the injector will output PoE signals to our IP devices. It's really easy. So let's take a look at the PoE injectors here. We have an outdoor 30 watts PoE injector, we have a regular 30 watts PoE injector, and you have a 95 watts high power PoE injector. The outdoor 30 watts PoE injector is really easy to understand. You can see it has PoE in, PoE plus, and data. That means the data com comes from this port and receives power right here from this power outlet. This is the, where the power connects. And then the PoE plus will output power through this port, which the PoE signal will reach about 30 watts. 30 watts will have a reminder of 25 at the end, usually. And the bandwidth goes all the way up to 100 megabits per second, really convenient. And this one, comparing to this one, these two have the same power, budget, and bandwidth. Although this one is more for outdoor, you can see the metal casing, and also it has easily wall mount holes, we can just like mount it on our outside walls. And also you can even directly bury it underground, because you know, the metal casing, the knobs, will help us prevent water and dust from penetrating the outside and damaging the inside components. And this one we usually use indoors. It is, has the same function of receiving data from the LAN port and outputting PoE signal at the PoE port. And these are really basic ones. Now this 95 watts high power PoE injector will output up to 95 watts of power and usually we'll have a reminder of 71 watts at the end which is totally enough to power a bunch of IP devices or a high demand power IP device. And it ha even has some indicators here to monitor the output power, how you know, to make sure we don't have t too much devices connected to it so it won't suck up all the power to good for us to make arrangements. And today we're going to use this 95 watts high power PoE injector and power up this Panatone zoom camera which is usually a hung, power hungry device as well. 
Now let's take a look how we should do it. It's really easy. You can plug in display. So first of all, let's take these two PoE injectors away. And now we'll take our power cord and connect with our 95 watts high power PoE injector. And then, once it is turned on, we'll use the Ethernet cable to connect our NVR with our injector. You can see the indicator power is on. It indicates it's receiving power currently. And then it can output PoE signal after I connect it to our IP device. So Ethernet cable goes in, and Ethernet cable goes to here at the panel to zoom camera. Once I plug it in, we should be expecting a self-diagnosis first, and later on some image on our screen. So in, now let's wait. Okay, the self-diagnosis is happening now. This means the power is going through, and now let's see about the data once it helps done with its self-diagnosis, we'll have the image on the screen. And yes, we have the image on the monitor now, and I'll wave my hand in front of the camera for you guys to see it is a live video feed. Okay, the whole setup is perfectly complete, Thank you. and this is pretty much it for today's video. Uh, thank you guys for watching, you can leave the questions and comments at the section below, and thank you for your time, I'll see you guys tomorrow.